So you are taking either AP120 or AP151 this semester, and that means that you are either completely virtual online or you're in the hybrid version of a class. Um, either way, you're going to need to use um, a system called Proctorio. If this is not your first uh, class here at Cerritos College, you've probably already used Proctorio, but you need to complete this video answering the questions along the way um, uh, as part of your first week's activities, right? So how do you use Proctorio? First of all, what is Proctorio? Uh, Proctorio is a virtual proctoring system. Uh, when, when students are sitting at home taking an exam, uh, you want to know that the other people in the class are actually taking the exam, um, studying for it, working just as hard as you do. And Proctorio is Cerritos College's way of ensuring that that is true. Let me see if I can make me a little smaller. There we go, okay. So while you are using this thing called Proctorio, it is going to be recording video of you and the room behind you. It is also going to be recording everything that you are doing on your computer, um, not just the video of what you see when you're looking at the computer, but it is also recording all of your keystrokes and anything that you are doing while you're taking the exam. So pretty, pretty complicated, okay? Um, uh, uh, the, the good thing is that uh, this levels the playing field for everyone taking the class. Um, it also is good because if your internet is spotty and you are having difficulty taking the exam, it is going to record that. And so you will have evidence that your internet was not working very well. On the other hand, if you tell me your internet wasn't working very well, but it was, Proctorio will know that too. Golly, okay. Another thing we'll do with Proctorio is we will make sure that every person who's taking the exam is the right person. So just like I got a new iPhone and it knows that it's me, um, when I pick up the iPhone, uh, they do facial recognition, and so they will know that you are the person who is supposed to be taking uh, the exam. Uh, by the way, uh, in order to make that work, that is why you are required to show your California driver's license or California ID card or your Cerritos College ID card with a photo on it. Those are the three things that you need to use in order to use Proctorio, okay? Um, let's see, what else? Mm, this uh, system will also make it so that when you are taking the exam, you cannot access any other websites um, while you're taking the exam. Uh, you can't be doing anything else like going to Google Answers um, while you're taking the exam. It is always going to start with doing a room scan. And so you need to pick up your laptop and just kind of do, 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 do a room scan, show me your table, and then you can set it down. Uh, now, this makes some people anxious because maybe your room's a mess or something like that. Uh, but what I would recommend is whenever you're doing a room scan, you know, just pick which room you want to take your, uh, your exam in. You can do it in your bedroom with the door closed. You can do it in a closet if you want to. You could actually sit in a car, you know, as long as you've got access to your internet, you could sit in a car in the garage and take your exam. Uh, so anywhere that you've got privacy, and I understand if you want to uh, protect, your, you could do it in the bathroom if you wanted to, as long as, uh, as long as you know you won't be interrupted for that period of time. And then it is going to compile uh, any suspicious behavior and report it to me. Um, depending on how much suspicious behavior you've got when you're taking your exam, um, then I will start watching uh, what you did on Proctorio um, during that exam. Um, uh, so all of those things is what Proctorio does. Oops, there we go.
Okay, so the basics of Proctorio. You have to use a desktop or laptop to take the Proctorio quizzes and exams. Uh, tablets do not work and cell phones do not work. And you might say to yourself, oh no, I don't have a laptop. Well, first of all, um, oh, I had, a, I had to get you that link. There is a, there is a Cerritos College um, Cares web page. Hey, let me just see if I can find that for you right now. Cerritos College Cares web page. Um, Cerritos College. Let's see if I can go just, I'm going to just type in Cerritos Cares. Let's see if that shows up anything. Ah, Cerritos Cares. There you are. Cerritos Cares. If you go to Cerritos Cares, you can see a way to apply for um, uh, financial support. Uh, 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 like they can give you money to upgrade your Wi-Fi, uh, $50 a month for internet access. Um, uh, and there are other resources here. For a while, Cerritos was giving away laptops, which was kind of crazy. I don't know how many services there are, but this is how you can find them. Uh, but you know, there's an even easier way to solve the problem um, when you only need to use Proctorio when you take your exams and quizzes. So if you've got a friend who's got a laptop that they can lend you for the hour that it takes for you to take your lecture exam, and in lecture, there are only five exams throughout the semester. You can just borrow their laptop in order to take your exam, okay? Not hard, okay? Now, the laptop or desktop, it has to have a video camera and a microphone. That is required. And I showed you the emergency aid request. You have to have a photo ID, and I told you that your campus card is acceptable. Did you know that you can still get your campus ID card uh, even though you're not on campus? So go online and say, how do I get a campus photo ID card? And uh, you can do that. Otherwise, your driver's license or your California ID card is acceptable. Your gym card, no. Okay, you have to use the Chrome browser. This is important. It has to be Chrome. Why? Because Proctorio is something that you add onto Chrome. So you have to start out using the Chrome browser, right? Has to happen. Now, to run Proctorio, you just go to get, sorry, getproctorio.com and then you install the Google Chrome extension. It is really good policy that, you know, an hour before you're planning to take your exam, you go to getproctorio.com to make sure that you're using Chrome and that it is properly installed. By the way, if you are particularly careful about making sure that no one can be watching you from wherever, uh, you can uninstall the, Chrome, the Google Chrome extension for Proctorio after every exam and then reinstall it before every new exam. Very easy to do. It takes like, I don't know, 10 seconds. It's actually very easy to do. Now, the first quiz that you take on Proctorio is due this Friday, Friday, January 14th. It's due this Friday, okay? Don't miss them. All right. So the first proctorial quiz is just a syllabus quiz. And the first proctorial quiz, the one about the syllabus, you should print out your syllabus and you should print out your schedule and have it with you. But this syllabus quiz is the only quiz where you will be allowed to use notes. No more notes after this particular quiz. All right. So January 14th, this Friday deadline, make sure you do it. Okay. And yes, please be fully clothed during your proctorial quizzes and make sure that your environment is PG friendly. Okay. Um, so that, uh, because I will be watching them. All right. Important. You never need an access code for proctorial quizzes. If you go to take your exam and it says you need an access code, 
you have done something wrong. Let me say that again. If you're ever trying to enter an exam or quiz and it says you need an access code, you have done something wrong because you will never need an access code to use Proctorio. If, if you, it's asking you for an access code, either the Proctorio extension has fallen off Chrome or you're not using Chrome, all right? So if you do your part right, you will never need an access code. If I get an email saying, Dr. Tidal, I need the access code, I will know you are not paying attention, okay? You don't need an access code. If you're using Proctorio and anything goes wrong and you get bumped out, the exam or quiz clock is still ticking, all right? Do not leave the page you're on. Look down further down on the page that you're on when it bumps you out. Look for the chat function and then go to the chat function and ask them to let you back into Proctorio, okay? Do not email anyone. Do not email me. Do not phone the company. Don't do anything like that because the clock is ticking while you are out. It does not pause, okay? Use the chat function. They will let you back in. Everyone who's used the chat function has been allowed back in, so I know it works, all right? Yeah, the chat function answers questions 24 hours a day. Is it people? Nah, probably not. It's probably a bot. But anyway, they know how to fix things. I don't. I have no power to let you back in, okay? If your connection dies, they can let you back in there too, right? Are they people? Are they robots? Probably robots, okay? Now, Proctorio actually works by artificial intelligence. So moment by moment, no one is actually physically watching you as you're taking an exam on Proctorio, okay? It's just artificial intelligence. Yeah, like that's normal. I've gotten so used to it, artificial intelligence. Um, and it's the artificial intelligence that flags these things by the Proctorio system. And then the course instructor, never the TAs, okay? The course instructors, me usually, we go back and review all of those irregular moments, okay? Um, except for the very first uh, quiz that you're taking, you are not allowed to use notes or textbooks or anything like that when you are taking your exams and quizzes, right? And uh, Proctorio is very good at noticing if your eyes are not on your page. And so I will be going back and looking at those. If after watching those flag moments, I determine that you've broken the honor code, you'll get a zero on the quiz or the exam, and I will be forwarding it to the, uh, the student. Um, there's a special student. I don't know the name of it anymore. But anyway, I'll be forwarding on to admin so that they can review it. And there, it may end up causing there to be a notation on your record, all right? Um, if you violate the honor code, um, then you're going to have to arrange to take future quizzes or, and exams with me watching you by Zoom or FaceTime, okay? And at any given moment, I might say, hey, let me see your laptop, your desktop. Hey, do a quick review of the room or raise your hands or whatever, okay? It, no one wants to do that. I sure as heck don't want to do that, okay? so please just don't violate the honor code. Even if you're just suspected of violating the honor code, I am going to forward the information to admin for them to review, and you are going to have to take future quizzes with me by Zoom. And by the way, when I say with me by Zoom, they'll be during one of my Zoom office hours between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. in the morning, okay? I'm not, I'm not waiting up until midnight so that you can take your exam, okay? So from your Canvas lecture shell, you can go into the Chrome extension, but you can also just go into uh, www, no, not even www, just getproctorio.com, 
okay? And when you go into the proctorio extension right here, right here, okay? It'll make sure that you're using Chrome. It'll make sure that the Chrome extension is installed. And I would recommend that you go to this site an hour before any exam or quiz that you're going to take to make sure everything's working. You need two gigabytes of free RAM. Um, technically, Chrome says you need two gigabytes of free RAM. By the way, that is one of the things that they report to me is whether or not you had enough free RAM when you were taking your exam. If you don't have enough free RAM, your exam will run more slowly and it will be glitchy. And that will be your fault. That will not be the fault of the Proctorio system. So make sure you have enough gigabytes of free RAM before you take your exams. I have found that my lecture exams run okay on one gigabyte of free RAM, but the more free RAM you have, the faster it will run, the less glitchy it will be. And also when you take your uh, lab quizzes, lab quizzes very often have a lot of images and they really need that amount of free RAM. Now, if you are like me, uh, you are not an IT professional. I know we all feel like we've had to be IT professionals uh, for this entire time. Um, but if you don't know how to get more free RAM, do what I do. You go into Google, you say, how do I free up RAM on my Dell Inspiron 17? And you will get Word instructions, and you'll also get a video on how to free up RAM. By the way, when you free up RAM on your laptop or your desktop, yeah, your computer runs better. So it's a good thing to do anyway. All right. So you're going to use Google Chrome. You're going to click here to install the Proctorio Chrome extension. And then when there is Proctorio, there will be this little symbol that looks like a shield um, up here on your toolbar that says that you have got Proctorio, all right? It's really that simple. You just click Add to Chrome and it adds. Just as quickly, you can go remove from Chrome and you can remove it and re-add it at every time, okay? Make sure you follow the honesty dishonesty policy. It's found in your syllabus and it's your, uh, it's your responsibility to avoid any of the prohibited behavior except for the very first, except for, except for the very first syllabus quiz, there are no notes allowed, no textbooks, nothing like that, okay? No other computers, you cannot use your cell phone, you cannot use the internet, nothing. All of those are violations, you'll get a zero and you'll be reported, okay? I already went over all this. What if you have to miss an exam, okay? You have 48 hours to take the exam. You can plan ahead, okay? If on Thursday night I feel like I'm coming down with a scratchy throat or uh, something else is going on, I better take the exam before I actually get sick, okay? Uh, you've got 48 hours to take the exams. You also have 48 hours to take your lab quizzes if you're an AP 120. If you postpone until really close to the midnight deadline and then you get a glitch and something happens and you can't take it, that's just bad planning on your part. I'm not going to let you take an exam the next day because you started it at 11 o'clock at night and um, your computer battery went dead, okay? That's just bad planning. If you're going to try and thread the needle, that's going to be on you. All right. It may be possible to take an exam early. Like if you know that that weekend's going to be dedicated to your sister's quinceanera or something like that, then you can plan to take it early. Contact me. Okay. To qualify to take a makeup exam, you have to inform me by email or in person on or before the day of the exam. And I will only allow makeup exams for Cerritos College approved reasons, okay? And it has to be documented. So um, it's not going to be because internet went out, okay? 
something like that. The makeup exams will be essay for AP 151 and short answer and just choose all that apply. They are not the same as the exam you would have taken if you would have taken it within that 48 hour window. Okay, for AP 120, the makeup exams do not have essays for AP 120, but they do have short answers um, along with multiple choice. And again, they are not the same as the exam that you would have taken um, if you would have taken it during that 48 hour window of time. You really don't wanna take a makeup exam, okay? There are no makeups for lab quizzes in AP 120. There are no makeups for practical exams in AP 120. And uh, there are no makeups for the final exam. All right. So make sure you plan ahead and remember that you've got 48 hours. Right? So before I close, remember, you have to take and pass the syllabus quiz by midnight Friday with at least a 70%. If you are in AP 120, there is also a syllabus quiz for the lab part, and you must pass it with at least 70% by midnight on Friday. Okay? All righty. That's all you need to know about Proctorio, and I hope I'll see you soon.